on guys, this is Kazi. Welcome to another epic tutorial, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Before we jump right in, let's look at some cool facts behind the color grading on this film. So it's shot by Ari Flex and Panavision cameras, graded by the one and only Company 3, and specifically by Stefan. He's the founder and president of Company 3. You guys should definitely check him out. His looks are by far the hardest to recreate. I personally think he's one of the best colorists in the world. And the negatives they used were the usual suspects 5203, 5207, 5219. Guys, if you want to take your color grading game to the next next level, make sure to check the link in the description below. One hour of intense color grading training that takes you from not knowing anything about Resolve all the way to grading your first professional gig. Hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post there every single day. Let's roll the intro. All right, now before we get going, I want to give a shout out to Film Pack. That's where the footage came from. And I highly recommend you to check them out. If you're going to be working on professional gigs, you're working with different cameras, different locations. And this is going to give you the opportunity to get comfortable before you jump in to the real world projects. All right, let's get back to the tutorial. All right, before we start grading, let's analyze this image, break it down, deconstruct it. And let me tell you what's really happening in this frame. Before I even get to my scopes, I'm going to drop in my color palette effect on our first node. And just let's read the scopes. Let's see what's happening. So the first thing we notice is that the color scheme they got going on is very analogous. Like pretty much everything is happening right here. Okay. Just look at it. So we got nothing even goes into our reds. Like, I mean, it just stays right here. And then we got some green, obviously, again, like around here. And if we look at our white, they're more like off white. They never get pure white. And we can see that here. So that's the color story. Let's leave that on and now look at the scopes and analyze what's happening. Look at where the greens are and that's what's creating that sky. And then the reds are sitting underneath the greens and then the blues. If you look at the contrast, it's not really pushed. Okay, that's why look at the reds and the greens in the shadows where they're sitting. It's because it's not highly contrasted shot. And just even if you look at the vector scope and see how warm the whole thing is, I mean, if I were to quote end quote white balance it, I can grab this and drop it right here and look at how everything is like now. Oh, great. It's white balance. But look at this image compared to what we had before. I mean, these are the things that you got to think about. OK, like this is the look that they're creating. They don't care if it falls under the kosher category, which, you know, the color grading 101, that your black points should be neutral, your highlights should be neutral, they're breaking the rules. Obviously, you wanna learn the rules before you break them, but this is just to give you an idea what goes down when you're talking about Hollywood movies. Now that we have our color story right, let's just jump right in. And I can tell you right now, the frame that I'm working with is not gonna be easy to get in that world, okay? So I'm going to go under my gallery. I'm going to select my image and then I'm going to do this and choose selected still images. Now we can see them back to back and just look at how different these two shots are. They're nothing alike. Yes, it's in the desert and that's the only common denominator because once I start grading, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to have to approach it in a unique way. I'm not going to be using my signature node tree because I want to break each element down into its own node so it makes much more sense. But when you translate this into your own workflow, you can go ahead and mix the nodes and follow my signature node tree structure that I've shown in the previous videos. That said, first node is going to be our noise reduction, so we can leave it there. Second node right here is where I'm going to do my exposure. Third is going to be my balance. This is where I'm going to start creating looks. Start with these four, so noise reduction, and then this is my exposure, balance, look. And let's just go to my exposure and start giving it a contrast and dial it in. Again, it's not really heavy. I'm just looking at the hair where the hair sit and I'm going to live in that world too. I don't want to push it too much. So 
somewhere around here for now, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do in our balance is give it some saturation first. So we're gonna crank it somewhere around 76-ish, somewhere around here. Now we wanna pull all this blue out. There's way too much blue, and the best way to do that in this case will be with my gamma. So I'm just gonna go in the opposite direction of that blue, try to pull some of that blue out. And even that is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go into my lift. I'm gonna bring some of that undertone green that we're seeing here. Then I'm gonna take my gain, try to pull some blue out even more. I'm gonna go in my gamma and see what else we can do. Lift somewhere around here for now. Now let's go into our look and try to grab the yellow, which is the sand, to give it the right color. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go under color, presets, yellow. Let's see if it does the trick. So it's grabbing pretty much all the yellow that I need. So it is doing that, which is great. Now I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna use my gamma and gain simultaneously to dial that color in. So let's go. Now, I'm not worried about her face because we're gonna mask it out. One thing that I can show you to get this deep thing that they got going on here because we don't have that happening here, I'm gonna give it some contrast. So just watch this, a little bit of contrast and then I'm gonna use my pivot and pull it down. See, it's putting us in that ballpark, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dial back all my colors a little bit because I can see that there is more green here than the red that I got going on in there. So even something like that. And then another good practice to like really dial it in is this, like look at how far off we are. Here it was looking fine and then you look at it here and you're like, what the? So somewhere around here and then let's pull some saturation out. And I'm gonna use my gamma and just pull it down a little bit somewhere around here. And then I'm gonna take my gamma and just add more green. So, I mean, this is where we started. This is where we end up. When you pull back and you look at it, there's a little bit more magenta happening here. So let's just add some of that back in, right? Even something like that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make this smaller. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just key out her face. And then we're gonna track it. So I'm gonna go to my first shot. I'm gonna go in here, create a window. Make sure we select window here. And what I wanna do is I wanna say, hey, affect everything but the skin. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna keep it pretty tight on her. Something like that, give it a little bit of softness, something like that, and then let's go ahead and track it. So track forward, pretty simple. And now if we pull this back in and we look at what we created, so one element down, right? I mean, this is looking really good and it's super clean, so it's doing its job. This time, we're gonna create a parallel node, not layer, parallel. Because parallel nodes are perfect for blending in and layer mixer is used for isolating. So in this particular situation, I wanna blend everything in. So I'm gonna create a parallel node, go here, and now what we wanna do is we're gonna pick her skin. And the way we're gonna do that is, again, we're gonna go to color, presets, red. And it, does a really good job. It just picks her skin and that's exactly what we need. And now what I wanna do is start getting in this world. So first things first, let's pull some saturation out. So I'm gonna go back, pull some saturation out. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under my hue versus hue. I'm just gonna pick my yellow and I wanna take it into this world, which now we're doing. 
And then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to try to do the same thing, but not too much. Then I'm going to go under my hue versus saturation and I'm going to pull it down. And just take the sting out from the yellow and from the red. Now, what I want to do is I want to go into my primaries and I want to lift my gamma a little bit. Just give her a little bit more love. So this is before, this is after. Even if you look at the lips, it's looking really good. Now, let's create another parallel node. And this time, we're going to try to pick out the sky and get it in this world. And the best way to do that is using qualifier. We're going to start with luminance. So I'm going to add some softness, like around 4.4 ish. I'm going to turn on my highlights right here and let's go. And it's going to be something like that. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I don't want to affect this area right here. Okay. Everything else is going to be fine. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a window like that. And I'm going to leave it something like this. And even if we move the frame, it looks fine. But what I want to do is I don't want to affect this area right here because it's going to get blown out. So in order to control that, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to mask it out. Mask it out just like that. I'm going to give it some softness, nothing too crazy, something like that. And now I'm going to say, hey, exclude this and then affect everything else. So we can see that we need to make it a little bit bigger so it really captures the whole thing. I'm going to move it up a little bit. So I think that's good enough for now. And then let's track it. All right, so now the tracking is done. Now we can turn this off, go back to our image, and now we can just get to work. I'm going to make it full screen. And now basically we need to do a ton of things. So first things first, let's raise our highlights somewhere around here. Now let's start getting in that ballpark. I'm going to use my gain. I'm going to use my gamma and then I'm going to pull saturation out. And then I'm going to keep using these to keep dialing it in and keep pulling saturation out and then keep going in that world. And then raising my lift even more. And again, just keep going in that world. So if I turn this on and off, you can see how much work we were able to do here. So a couple more things that I want to try. Um, I'm going to go into my log and I'm going to raise my highlights, park them somewhere around here. Okay. One thing straight off the bat that I see is that now our window is not blending in like it's kind of sticking out. So let's blend it in. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to raise my softness. And then I'm just going to move that there and see how that is. So that's looking better. I'm going to leave that there. And let's try a couple of more things and then I think I'm not going to obsess over it more than that is it. So let's go into our highlights, raise them a little bit. That's good. And now what I want to do is I'm raising my highlights a little bit and I'm just kind of keeping my eye on here for this area and seeing if you're getting any closer. You know, I'm still not happy with this window, so we got to definitely do something about that. Let's see. So now if we go into our look adjustment and I'm just going to play with saturation, I'm going to bring it down, bring it back up a little bit. 
I'm gonna go into my offset and move the wheel around a little bit to see if there's a spot that fits better to what I got going on. You know what? I actually don't mind this. The only thing that I'm not liking is the skin. So I'm going to go under my skin and I'm going to try to match it better and give it a little bit more juice. Something like that. I'm going to try to give her a little bit more love in her skin. All right, so let's pull some saturation out. Let's go into my log and I'm gonna try to get that in the same ballpark. Let's try to pull more saturation out. Keep it somewhere around here. Let's do this. Actually, you know what? Let's give it a little bit more saturation, bring that back. somewhere around here and then okay so this is looking good all right before and after i think i'm calling it i mean just look at this i think to me we've done it so i'm gonna go ahead here and let me just look at one more thing. I'm going to make this bigger and analyze it. Yeah, I don't think they have any vignettes going on, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's call it. So this is going to be sharpening. We're just going to go ahead and bring it down to 47. This is going to be global adjustments. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to drop in my grain and grab that puppy and go to 35, 400 actually 35 400 and then let's go into our strength and crank it until we see it and let's name them sharpen global adjustment and grain now what i want to do is turn all of these off go back to our image and go one by one and see how far we've come. So first note, we just did our exposure. Second, we balanced some stuff out. We added more saturation that helped us with our qualifiers. Then we went ahead and pulled out our ground, got it into somewhat of that ballpark. Then I went into her skin and just tried to balance it out and got it in this world. Lastly, that's what brought everything together. We went into our sky and we try to match it as close as possible to what we have going on here. Then this is our look adjustment. So I'm going to go ahead and call it that. And then let's turn it on and see. And look adjustment did quite a bit. I mean, it just added that green back in there. And I feel like even if you look at the sky and everything, it just like stylizes it. And this is very, very stylized. Now, if this is not your cup of tea and you think, man, there's a bit more green in the shadows, you can pull it out. But I promise you, if you look at this, there's a lot of green happening here. So I'm totally fine with it. I'm leaving it in. And then I did go back into her skin and then balanced it out. And then we added sharpening. Finally, we added grain to bring it all home. And if I turn it, just go back and forth, you can just look at it. like where we started to where we ended up. And let's look at this in full screen. Hope you guys had a blast. Drop a comment below. Let me know which movie should I do next. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more awesome mess, share this with friends, and remember, Work hard, get obsessed, get possessed, and I will see you guys in the next video.